this is a little tutorial on how you can create your own blackjack applet. Now I'm providing you with the code here and several files and some images as well that you'll use. Um, the, web, the web address for these files for this page you're looking at is in the description so you can get it right there. So what you're going to want to do is um, go into BlueJay, that's the uh, compiler, uh, Java um, editor and compiler that I recommend. You can use any one though, but you're going to want to create a new project. Um, I call that project Blackjack Applet. You can call it whatever you want actually, but as long as you create that project, when, when you create a project, BlueJay creates a folder on your hard drive. So there's the corresponding folder. It has the same name as the project. And what you want to do is put everything that we're going to download into this folder. Okay? Um, I'll kind of show you that. One by one, download them. Those are the three classes. And then this is a zip file of your images. Okay? Looks like it downloaded them. Let me bring this up onto the page. And we're going to grab our files that we downloaded. Kind of drop them over here one by one. <clears throat> and our zip file. Okay, so for this cards dot zip you're on a Mac you should be able to just double click and it actually creates the folder right there on a PC you're going to want to use a WinZip or something like that to extract the folder and then make sure you put that folder inside the blackjack applet folder whatever the name of your project was right so you have this subfolder if you look in here these are all images of cards okay so it's important that that's a subfolder of your projects folder okay and for the rest of these, these are actually um, RTF files, should open up in Notepad or you know, on a Mac and text edit. And we're going to just one by one select all, copy, come into your project, create a new class, give it whatever name you want there, it doesn't matter. Double click to go inside, select all, paste. And I hit compile and it will give it the new name. I got an error here, but that's okay leave that for right now it's just looking for the other class so let's open the other one blackjack brains copy and blue jay create a new class just give it a dummy name for the start select all paste compile that's good gives you one error because it's looking for that last class which is called card copy that and we're going to do the same thing. Create a new class. Give it a silly name. Here. Select all. Paste. And there you go. Compiles with no errors. Let's go back here. Compile. And compile your last one. Good. No errors. So now you have those three classes. You have your Blackjack Graphical. Blackjack Brains and the card file. I'll go over these in a second, but let's just see what they do. You run the one that says applet, that's blackjack, bj, bjack graphical, I guess is what it's called. Hit run applet. Um, you can go with the standard, which is 500 by 500. If Make sure it is 500 by 500. I think that's what the game's based on. Hit OK. And it brings up your interface here. Click on the green chip to bet money. If you had bet too much, you click the red to subtract it. Say we want to bet $20, you click on the place bet button. I have 18, so I'm going to stay. So I'm going to choose player stay. And that's a push. Hit play again. Since it was a push, we didn't lose any money. We're going to go for big money this time. We're going for 40. Ah, nice hand. I'll stay. Player wins, I have 140. So that's all this does. The one thing this doesn't do is it doesn't split 
aces. Um, actually, it doesn't split eights, and you don't can't you can't declare an ace as a one. So that's something that I want you to build in. After all, I try to be I try for this. I want this to be more of an educational tutorial. So I will leave something for you to add to this.